high school football coach in Utah has decided to suspend his entire football team unless they agree to uh, sign basically a contract indicating that they would stop cyberbullying a particular student. Um, now, this is Union High football coach. This is the Union High football coach. And he's saying that he's not going to deal with it. He's tired of this. And he basically found evidence on a website called Ask.fm indicating that these uh, football players were cyberbullying this person. And they were, and he was tired of it. He was outraged by it. He said the following, um, I just felt like everything was going in a direction that we didn't want our young men going. We felt like we needed to take a stand. We don't want that represented in our program, whoever it is doing the bullying. We want to help get them back on the right path. So that's something that I don't really expect from football coaches mm -hmm. in America, because no. when you go to a campus, it seems as though the students that are participating in whatever athletic team it is are uh, above and beyond any type of rule or regulation or law in that entire state. So to see a football coach take a stand like that and suspend all of the students is really, really great. And I hope that it inspires other athletics coaches if they see that that kind of behavior is occurring. Well, you know, coaches, in many, in many cases, coaches are the people who are the teachers that are closest to a lot of the young men in our society. You know, if you're involved in sports, especially if, you know, you're a football player, you know, your coach is, is like your other dad mm -hmm. and can also be a person who teaches you culture and values and, and how to be a leader. And what I love about this is that he's taking his players and he's saying to them, you need to be a leader and we want you to represent the best of what this this high school can be to be leaders and to not let your friends bully to change the culture you know because that's you know when we talk about rape culture and we talk about like the Steubenville rape uh, you know and all of these other issues that have come up uh, regarding rape by football players you know in previous cases when you have friends who model the the best kind of behavior the best kind of leadership behavior they help their friends and they also share and and spread that leadership and that goes through throughout the culture you know it, it continues on as those people grow older it's I, you know i think this is a wonderful thing i i think you're right i hope that other other coaches follow through on this other high schools follow through on this and have this kind of uh this kind of policy C cyber bullying cyber bullying so now glendale is going to start uh, their monitoring the Glendale School District. Here in California. Yes, and uh, Unified School District is going to start monitoring. They hired a company to start monitoring their students' social media. Oh. Yeah, so the, apparently class sizes at 40 doesn't matter much to the people in Glendale. But having hiring, taking money instead of hiring a teacher, they're going to hire a company to monitor. I, I guess it just gets them used to getting ready for real life, right? Because we're all monitored now all the time. The NSA. It's just so, conditioning them. So is that them. what's happening? So that's really happening. That's really happening right now. And that is just crazy to me that they're spending money to do that. Cyberbullying. I don't know. I'm, you know, it's a different generation, right? So I don't know much about it. But it's not the same as real bullying. And um, well, cyberbullying can be vicious, though. It I can mean, be very and, damaging. And just to give you a quick example of that, let's say um, a female classmate sends uh, a boy a nude picture of herself. He posts that online, people comment on it, oh, people okay. share it. I mean, that is an extreme form of cyberbullying. Right. But stuff like that happens all the time. Or one student will create a Facebook page that's particularly hateful. Like, I don't know, um, okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put myself in a student's shoes and it'll be like, Anna Kasparian is a bitch, right? And then a bunch of people will go on there and say mean and hateful things. And then it's, anytime you search your name on Google, that page pops up. I mean, that's another example of cyberbullying. So for People like us, I mean, we're adults. I mean, I get a bunch of crap like that all the time, all and I think time. it's hilarious, right? Yeah. But when it happens to someone who's going through all of these hormonal changes right. and who's going through a tough time, I mean, it could literally mean the difference between life and death. Students kill themselves as a result of this kind of bullying. So you, you are you for the monitoring then? The no, I think the monitoring goes way too far. I, I don't like that idea. I think that it's a privacy violation. Mm -hmm. But I do like the idea of administrators actually taking a stand because oftentimes they're chicken shit. They don't want to do anything when they find out that a student is being bullied. So I, as long as there are actual consequences to their actions, then I'm in favor of it. But we don't need to be monitoring everything that occurs online. Yeah, That's you don't crazy. have to have a private contract go out to some company, which sounds to me like it's somebody, you know, doing a favor contract using like school it. school district money in order to, to give some business to a private company. Whereas we could have, oh, I don't know, you know, teachers and coaches and parents, uh, adults in these kids' lives. maybe a comedy show lives. once a semester. Maybe a comedy <laughs> show. Maybe a comedian <laughs> comes in.
I don't know. Could happen. But you know, people who are actually teaching kids these values and saying, and putting the check on that, and saying, you know, you don't have to be this way. In fact, it's better if you use all your powers for good instead of for evil. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Well, tip of the hat to Union High coach Matt Lebrum. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I do want to add one more thing to this story uh, because I want you guys to know exactly what he's doing with this contract. So he made each player sign a contract stipulating that they will attend counseling ses sessions on character development, study hall sessions, and perform two days of community service instead of team practice. The squad was also ordered to hold new elections for their team uh, captains. Damn, wow. that's serious, that's wow. serious. He's that not is. messing around. And he still doesn't even know who the original perpetrator was. No, wow. He's basically uh, punishing the entire, uh, the entire team, but in actuality, I don't think he's actually really punishing them that much. I it's think he's lesson. teaching them. Yeah, it's a, it's a lesson. I, I hope he has kids because th this is the type of man that should yeah, have kids. Yeah, that's a good, he's really, you know, he's not messing around. It's like, it's this is what's gonna happen. You're not the captain of the football team anymore. You, neither are you, and we're getting new ones, and this, huh, yeah, and it's no discussion, and he just does yeah. it. I like that.